Okay guys, so just like today and every other beautiful day, I'm here to take a walk and drop a message on you guys. These messages, like I always say, are for me as well. So this is basically like me talking to myself and you guys listening. Now, last night I watched a video uh, on Bob Proctor and he was speaking about mindset and he was speaking about frequency and he was making a lot of sense and it was resonating with me. So I felt the need to drop the message on you guys too and to reiterate. So he was basically speaking about, I'll start with the mindset aspect. He was saying a lot of people think that they know what mindset is when they don't really understand the meaning of it. He said the meaning of mindset is to basically set your mind on a certain frequency or a certain place that you want to go. And I never even thought of it like that. So I was like, wow, that makes so much sense. It seems so obvious, but when you hear somebody else say it, somebody of you know, good character and someone that is widely respected, when you hear them say it, sometimes it just resonates a little bit more. So he said mindset is simply setting your mind on a certain area or a certain frequency that you would like to go or vibrate on. Now, this is basically saying when you have goals for the future and you have places that you want to go, the idea isn't really to work toward those goals. It is to mentally put yourself in that place like where you want to go you have to put yourself there first and when you put yourself there then you look down and say how did i get here what are the steps that i need to take to get here so when you want to go somewhere and you want to have something or you want to be a certain person or or whatever you have to literally put yourself there mentally and you have to have mental imagery that you are already where you want to be. This is like, you know, we're, we're walking the line of manifestation here. It's basically what it is. When you put yourself in the place that you want to be, or you put yourself in the position and you are the person that you want to become, it is much easier to just feel like you are there and then, and then look down and say, how did I get here? So, and it goes for the same thing with frequency. He was saying that you have to put yourself on the frequency that you want to vibrate on. And then once you put yourself there, when you are on a certain vibration, you can only attract what is on that vibration. Nothing else, nothing else below. You are only able to attract on the level that you vibrate on. So this is just like, it's something that people don't really seem to understand when it comes to manifestation. And like I said, mindset, setting your mind in a certain place and frequency. Have you guys ever noticed that certain people just always attract certain things? Like, and you can tell why they do because they just, they just vibrate on that same level. You ever, like, when people have, it's just, it's sometimes it just seems like people keep attracting, like, money to them. Like, money just keeps coming to them or opportunities just keep coming to them. And then vice versa. You can also, you also see a lot of people who, who go through, like, you know, they go through hard times and then they, they go through bad things. And, like, bad things happen to them and they just keep happening to them over and over and then, you know, people are like, oh, I have such bad luck. And as much as, as much as it might be bad luck, when it happens like three, four, five, six times in a row, it is much more than just bad luck or good luck. You are attracting everything that is on that vibration that you are sitting on. So if you are sitting at a low vibration, you will attract all of that low vibrational activity to you. All of it. And it will consistently come to you over and over. And like I said, it happens the other way. If you are sitting on high vibration, you will attract nothing but everything on that vibration. I feel like I don't attract anything of a low vibration. Because I'm not there. 
I don't, I don't, I don't reside there. And I don't reside there because I told myself I don't. I told myself that I don't reside down on that lower vibration. So I don't attract those things into my life, which saves you, well, saves me and saves everybody a lot of headache and stress and unnecessary problems that we don't need. So I feel like I unintentionally did set my mind on a certain frequency and I didn't even know it. I put myself in a certain place where I literally can only attract the highest frequency activity and characteristics available. I everything I feel like everything low vibrational just goes right by me and I just like watch it go. I don't feel it. It doesn't resonate with me at all. But there, you know, you go through certain times in your life where sometimes you just feel like you keep you keep attracting good things or bad things. For me, it's like sometimes I just keep attracting good things. And I feel like it's because I put myself on that on that height. I put myself in that good place, on that good vibration. You have to put yourself there. So it's like sometimes we do things and we don't even really know we do it until we hear someone say it. Like in my example, um, like Bob Proctor explained it. So I think part of manifesting and part of getting to where you want to be is you have to literally bring yourself to that place first and imagine that you are already there. I think people underestimate the power of imagination and the power of the mind in general. When you put yourself in a certain place, you, you categorize yourself there and you don't accept anything below. You don't accept anything different. That's why I think a lot of people who are successful and who attract money or who attract opportunity, they just, it just keeps coming and keeps coming and keeps coming. But if you attract, you know, bad things and you sit on a low vibration, you keep attracting those low vibrational things, activities, people, problems, and it just keeps happening over and over again. So closing statement, you got to bring yourself there first. Put yourself in that successful position. Manifest your destiny. Bring yourself there and like see yourself there. And then uh, I believe the universe will take over and, and it will bring you there. So that is my message for well, this part of the day. And uh, that is all I got for you guys. Enjoy the sun and uh, put yourself in the position that you want to be. All right, guys, peace.